Welcome back savages to another video. So it's a week later and the situation is pretty dire with the solar X miner. So I've got the solar panel as you can see just here on the top left mounted in the same direction as all my other solar kit and unfortunately that's just not enough to keep the solar X miner charged and working overnight. So let's go down and look at the miner right now. So here we are looking at the miner itself and it is completely dead. No display. If you switch it on and off, nothing happens. So basically the actual unit itself, this is in the peak of summer, is just not fit for purpose for being charged by a solar panel. It does get to 100% sometimes during the day, but towards the latter end of the evening when it's getting a bit dim, it just drops down to about 20 to 30% and then just goes off completely. So imagine what this is going to be like in the winter. So essentially we can't rely on the solar panel anymore and we're going to have to use the charger that comes with it. So just before we ditch the solar panel, I just want to do some power consumption tests on the actual adapter that comes with the Solar X Miner. So the good thing is it comes with a figure of eight adapter, which you can unplug, and that's the one it comes with. You don't really get an option to choose the one that you want when you order it. So I'm going to replace that one with my local one, which I have a spare one lying around. So it's eight pin on that side, three pin on the other. So I'm just going to plug that into that and use it. So what we're going to do first of all is get a power consumption test of this charger without it being connected to the Solar X miner. Let's go. So I've just plugged in the charger and as you can see without it connected to the miner, it is consuming 0.4 watts of power. In terms of ampage, it's 0.009 amps. So let's connect it to the device and see how much power it uses while charging. So I've just connected up the mains charger to the Solar X miner, which was completely dead about five minutes ago. Now the green LED on there is showing and I've let it load up. But what's interesting is if I zoom in on there, you can see that the battery is 38%. So can somebody please explain to me why the battery level is on 38% and it will not switch on without that charger? There's something very wrong with this unit. Anyway, I've got it all connected up. So let's have a look at the power consumption. If we move over there while it's charging with the mains charger, it's using about 3.2 watts of power. In terms of ampage, it's about 0.03 amps. So overall, I'm not impressed with this unit at all. It's very poor working off the solar panels. And even when you charge it from being completely dead, why the hell is it showing 38% battery and not working on its own? I would say that after about a week or so of ownage off this Solar X Miner, it's not fit to be called a Solar X Miner. It doesn't work from solar power in the peak of summer. It basically loses its battery life and when it's completely off and being charged by a mains charger it starts off at 36% as you can see right there. When I've actually discussed this with SolarX support, their number one go-to excuse is the solar panel is not fitted correctly or pointing in the most optimal position. Well as you could see from the video right at the beginning, the solar panel is on the same roof as all my other solar panels and they all work fine. It might be fine in a country which has got wall-to-wall -wall sunshine every day and you've got 100% right before it gets dark. So in conclusion, after about a week and a half of ownership, and bear in mind that solar panels on the roof, like all my other solar kit, pointing in the best optimal position for sun, it's just not fit for purpose. And this is in the height of summer, so I can't imagine what it's going to be like in the winter months. So effectively, for me, in my experience, I'm going to have to run this unit off the mains charger to keep this charged 24-7. And the thing I just can't get over is that when this unit is completely dead and will not switch on, you'll plug the mains charger into it and eventually once it's loaded up, you're getting around about 38% battery charge. Why is that? So there you go, savages. That's my experience of owning this Solar X Miner for over a week and a half. It's just not fit for purpose on a solar panel. Might be okay on the mains charger, but that defeats the whole purpose of being called a Solar X Miner. If you own one of these Solar X Miners and are in a similar situation, please leave a message in the comment section below and let me know of your experience. I'd like to know just how widespread this is. It could be just a one-off with the unit I've got, but I'm not so sure. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you savages on the next one.